on YouTube. Today is going to be an updated video on banking by the numbers. From my previous banking video, as you can see, I have the numbers again on the diamond system. This is where the object ball is going to get pocket. Where that is going to be, that's always going to be your zero. This is going to be the pocket I want to plan to get the object ball in. So this is going to be the four, the eight, the 12, and the 16. On the opposite side of the table, where the object ball is going to hit the rail, I have it in increments of 10. This would be 10, 20, and 30. I just placed this to make it easier for you guys to see this is the half diamond. So this would be of course the five of the half diamond and half of 10 and 20 is 15. On my previous videos, I had the object ball land exactly on these four, eight and 12 diamonds. As you can see, I had it lined up before. This would be five, six, seven, and eight, and it would line up in this, in this area. But now I had comments where, what if the object ball does not land on the four, eight, and 12 diamond? So say it lands about here. So we, that's still on the eight, about here. So we have it landing on this diamond. So we have, this is the five, this is the 10, this is the four and the eight. So we know we're between those. So this is six, seven, so this is landing right about on the seventh diamond. So if I get the object, object ball to hit this diamond, the seventh diamond, I should make it into this corner pocket. So like I said before, the cue ball has no play on where it lands on the table. The biggest thing with this cue ball all it needs to do is make this object ball hit the seventh diamond so I can make it into the corner pocket. So double check it, eight, seven, and there's the seventh diamond. Aim at the seventh diamond, and I should make it into the corner pocket. We're gonna do another bank where it does not line up to the four, eight, and 12. Let's say the object ball lands between your 10 and your 15, or the 16, it would be easier, 10 to the 16. So say this object ball lands on the 14. So you have 14 here, you would line up your numbers. This is your 12, this is your 16, this would be 13, 14, 15, 16. So I know I have to be here and here. So, well, that one does not land on my 14. So say this one lands on the 13. It looks like exactly on the 13. Because this would be 12, this is 13. So actually, I have it on the 13. If I make that object ball hit the 13th diamond, I should make it into this car pocket. So cue ball, just place it where I can, where it doesn't double, double kiss and I should make it into his corner pocket, hitting 13, 13th diamond. I had some comments where they were asking if this system works on a cross bank. And this system actually does work on a cross bank as long as you are lining up on the diamonds. So for this example, say we wanna go to this one that we're doing in cross bank. What we have to do is say, we have the object ball lining up, say between the five and the 10. So we know we gotta go from between the five and the 10. Say it lands, say on six. So we wanna go from the six. So if this is four and this is eight, and this would be your five and then your six, seven. So six, it lines up pretty close to the six, for a cross bank, your object ball is on the side of the pocket. For this to object, excuse me, your cue ball is on the side of the pocket. For this, you actually have to apply a little bit of spin to help this object ball spin off the rail and go into this corner pocket. So for this cross bank, we're gonna make sure it lines up. This is four, four and four. This is the five, this is the five diamond and there's the six and lines up on the six for a cross bank your cue ball 
is towards the side of the corner pocket you want to bank it into. You want to apply a little bit of side spin to help it go into this corner pocket. We're going to do another cross bank. Say this object ball lands between your 5 and 10 and it hits about right here. So we'll get that measurement. This is the 8, 8 and 8. It does not land there. This is your 4s. Doesn't land there. Five is here, and six is here. So we're about on the seventh diamond. So let's make this a little bit extreme on the cue ball. We'll actually have to apply a little bit more spin to get this um, object ball into this corner pocket. So that should be on the seventh diamond, and this is a cross bank with a little bit of right spin to help it go in this pocket. I did some of the banks where it lands within, between the 16th diamond and lower. So what if your object ball does not land on the 16 and lower, it lands on the 20, 25, the 30, and the 35. If this was your number system, this is also still 10, this would be your 20, this would be your 30. Say it lands between your 20 and 30 diamond. Say the object ball lands about right here. So if this is 20 and this is 20, you know that object ball is not on that on that line. So we move up. This would be your 21, 21, 22, and it's about the 22 mark. So as long as I make this object ball hit the 22 diamond, I should make it into that corner pocket. Like I said before, your cue ball has no play. The only thing it does is hit the object ball to make it hit the 22nd diamond. I'm going to do another example where the object ball is past your 16 diamond. If this is your 16, this is your 20, 25, 30, and then 35. Of course, this is your 10, 20, and your 30. So if this is 20, 20, 20 would be here, and 25 would be here. Say this object ball lands between your 25 and your 30, making it a little bit more challenging. So this is 25 and 25, and this is your 30s. So you know it's between this diamond and these diamonds. So this is 26. And there's your 27. So about on the 27th diamond, I should be able to make this object ball into that corner pocket. For this example, I rotated the numbers where I made the side pocket my zero. This is where I want the object ball to go to. So if this is gonna be zero, then this would be your four, this is your eight, this is 12, and this is 16. So it also happens on the other side of the table where the object ball will be banking into. So this would be your zero, this is your 10, your 20, your 30, and your 40. I had a question in the comments by TZ. He asked if the numbers would actually rotate into the short rail. Meaning, if this was your 16, would this be your 20 and your 25? And it would. So if this is 16, you know if this is the 15 mark, this would be the 16. And this would be your 20 mark, and it lines up to your 20. So, for an example, your object ball lands between your, your 20 and your 16. So we know it's between 20 and 16. Say it lands here. If that's 16, 
and this would be 17. If I hit this object ball on the 17th mark, I should make it into the side pocket. Here's another example where the numbers continue into your short rail. If this is your 16, this is your 20, and your 25, then your 30. So if this is 20, 10, 20, it would look like this. And then your 25 would be here. Say your object ball lands between your 25 and your 20. So 20 and 20 would be here. 25 and 25 would be here. So we know it's in between these numbers. So we kind of, we have to count. This would be 21 and 22. So about on the 22 mark, on the 22 diamond, I should make it into this side pocket. I just did an updated video on banking by the numbers. Wherever your object ball is gonna go into a pocket, that will always be your zero. So this would be, if I'm gonna bank into this pocket, this will be my zero, increments of four, four, eight, 12, then 16. Where the object ball hits the rail will always be an increment of 10. Your zeros will always be lined up. So this would be your 10, 20, 30, and 40. Remember, line up your object ball to your diamond system. Your cue ball plays no role except to hit the object ball into that diamond to correspond it to go to that pocket. Hopefully this video was informative and thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget the thumbs up.